Um, as you are joining, welcome to our Living Well Now uh, Wednesday night event. Uh, we're learning all sorts of things about uh, how to keep uh, how to keep sane in the middle of insanity. And uh, Shauna, nobody knows how to do that better than you. I always think about uh, your lessons in turning obstacles into opportunities when I face things that are totally hiccups um, along the way. Uh, and it wouldn't be uh, a small business uh, helping people live healthier lives if we didn't have a few hiccups in even tonight. So we really appreciate you being live with us tonight. We are live streaming this as well as recording it. So even if you miss the first part or you have to jump off early, um, we aren't going to stop the, we're not going to stop the presentation. We're going to keep it going full on um, until Shauna has to go. So, um, so Shauna, you have, you have the floor. Um, oh, let me just tell you a little bit about my amazing friend, Shauna, who is also Ruby K. Um, she lives in Surprise, Arizona. We met uh, in the last several years as we've been building this amazing business. We've been running buddies along the way and also friends who um, are just voting each other's victories. Shauna has overcome so much in her personal life um, to be able to bring you this, in, this just in, amazing testimonial. Um, she's the first one I think of. Uh, when I'm using language on purpose instead of on accident. Um, you're also the first one I think of when I think of uh, a giving spirit who, uh, who is just a, a mama of teens and a, a sweet girl who needs a little bit of your help right now with at home school. So we appreciate that as well. And uh, I think you're going to relate to her story, especially um, if you're someone um, who has just uh, heard, uh, heard words from people and chosen instead to listen for God's voice in the middle of the cacophony. Um, she is an author, um, and she'll probably, hopefully, tell you a little bit about her book, which is back here, and I didn't grab it in time. Um, but Shauna, welcome to our call tonight, and we are super excited uh, for you to bring us this uh, important content. Hello, thank you, Ange, and congratulations as a newlywed. Woo -woo. I looked amazing. Um, welcome everybody. Thank you for your patience as we had a little bit of trouble getting logged in. But like Ange said, um, one of my favorite things to do is turn obstacles into opportunity and to turn pain into purpose. I really choose to look at things with a very different mindset than most people are taught. It's not to say that we can't learn it, but it's, um, it's not really taught very often. And that's what I hope to share with you tonight is a little bit of my background with my story, but then also help teach you how to start taking captive your thoughts and choose a mindset that is going to lead you down a new pathway of health and wellness or whatever your goal is. I mean, if you are in massive debt, you can use these strategies. If you are um, struggling with a relationship, you can use this strategy. If you are struggling with your emotions, you can use these strategies. It's all about your mindset. So we're gonna get into it here. Um, I'd like to ask everybody to please have a piece of paper and pen or pencil, whatever you choose, ready. Um, especially one that you may need more than one piece of paper because we're going to do a little bit of an exercise here in a second in which we will want that as well. Um, okay, I'm going to attempt here to share the screen and open my slides for tonight. But let me put it in present mode and hopefully you guys will be able to see. Oops, I'm not. There we go. There we go. Um, see the full screen. Can you guys see that okay? Yes, awesome. Um, one thing that I do love is engagement. I love having people out there kind of chatting back with me, although while I'm sharing my screen, I don't really know if I can see everybody on there. So um, that's okay. I'm gonna get started. And one of the things that I wanted to say as well is thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're joining us from our Octoil Fest event, Welcome, a special welcome to you guys. We have a, an event going for 10 days that is all over the world. We have people joining us from all over the world, about 700 people this year in a group, and we are sharing tons of information and stories and all the good things. It's a free event. If, you, if you're not in that October 12th event and you'd like to be in, you are welcome to join in with us. You can just comment 
and I'm sure some of the teammates on here will get you the information or just message me afterwards and we'll get you in that as well because it's going to take you on another journey of um, lots of different topics that are really really powerful we only do it once a year and so it is really um, amazing it's really amazing we have a whole team a whole crew putting it together and it's just phenomenal so welcome to the mindset of health this is going to hopefully rock your world tonight a little bit everyone even if you feel like i got this health thing i got this nailed down i'm good to go i'm doing great i really choose that this to some uh oh did that share that okay to some degree also rocks your world to a new level as we go through this presentation so here's what i'm going to talk about is whole body wellness i'm going to talk about how you can choose to increase your energy how you can reduce your stress, how you can support your immune system. That picture in particular really makes me laugh because that is how we feel in 2020 right now, <laughs> to support your immune system, um, like guard all the things, right? And then also I'm gonna give you my top three secrets and how I have gotten started in completely transforming my health. Okay, if you stay tuned until the end, um, we have some prizes for you. Number one, I have a special gift for you that's gonna go right along with this mindset part. And that's a special gift that I will give you access to at the very, very end. But also, I was just informed about an hour ago that the host of this event, which is Living Well Now, would also like to give away not one, not two, not three, but four freebies along the way. So if I get the opportunity to kind of intertwine them within the presentation, we're gonna give away four $20 credits to your Young Living account. If you do not have an account yet, no worries, because I'm gonna show you how you can get started and you'll be able to apply that um, to your account after you get started. Um, and so make sure you are engaged and focused and you stay with us till the end because if my story, if I keep talking and I forget about those freebies because I didn't have them planned in, we'll give them at the end. And Angela is going to help remind me. Make sure we do that. Now, I want you to know that this is called the Mindset of Health. And yes, I am absolutely going to quote unquote pitch you, pitch you on some products to buy toward the end of this. But this is super intentional. I actually, well, I do care if you get the products because I think they're gonna be helpful for you. But when we start this, the reason I said pay attention to your mindset during this is because I want you to start thinking right now when you are pitched a product, when somebody tells you something that they think is gonna help you, what is your mindset about that? So where do you automatically get closed off? And if you guys wanna chat in the chat, that would be awesome. If you're automatically closed off when somebody's like, I got something that's totally gonna to help you. Or if you're like, oh my gosh, tell me all the things. Yes, 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 like tell me all the things. Where are you at with your mindset when somebody is offering hope to you and somebody is giving you an opportunity to buy something or do a new program that they think is gonna help you in whatever your health goal is. So yes, I'm going to pitch a product, but the main reason not, well, one of the main reasons is because I just simply want you to pay attention to how it makes you feel when I talk about products to you, okay? If that makes sense. Because the truth of the matter is that most people, when you purchase these products tonight, I will not see a penny from it. I'm not gonna see a penny from it. So like, yeah, of course I want your money. That's awesome. Like you can help like support me and my family, whatever. But the truth is that I'm actually not gonna get a commission off of the products if you purchase them tonight. So that is not my main incentive for pitching these products is that I make money. My incentive is twofold. Number one is I want you to pay attention to your mindset while I'm talking about products. And number two is that I actually really do think these products will be really great for you. So I want you to pay attention. Okay, so what makes this presentation different than what you've heard before? Number one is my goal for this presentation is to offer you a word of hope. A word of hope. When I, and you're going to hear my story in a second, but when I lived for the first 35, 40 years of, well, about 35 years of my life, I was not actually offered hope. I was offered the words chronic. I was offered the words um, dying. I was offered the word oxygen tank. I was offered a lot of stuff that did not have a great future to it. And here it is my absolute intention and my goal to give you hope no matter what your condition is, no matter what your situation is, no matter what your health goal is, I'm here to say it can, you can feel better if you choose. So what I like to focus on are health benefits 
instead of or health products and things that will have a side benefit as opposed to a side effect please don't get me wrong i'm not against medicine or whatever like dude if i get in a car accident and i chop off my arm please give me some medicine to help me deal with the pain like please do all the things but there's a time and a place for those and i'm here to give you some things some opportunities that might give you side benefits instead of side effects um, also, I want you to know that with this presentation, you are 100% in the driver's seat, okay? With this presentation and anything that I'm going to show you today, you are in control. There's nothing that you're going to get locked into unless you choose to do it. There's, you know, this is completely your choice. If you decide you have heard enough of me after five minutes, shut it off. It's fine. You're in the driver's seat. You do not have to be here and listen to me or anything. You're in the driver's seat. But my hope is that you will truly find some real answers and some real benefit. And especially, again, that hope that there is something that we can do to get better. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about myself and my story. So I'm Ruby K. My legal name is actually Shauna Allred, but we had some issues happen on the internet in which I needed to kind of go incognito. And so it developed out of this obstacle, an entire opportunity for an incredible brand. And I've had so much fun with the Ruby K brand and really launching some um, like courses, books, all kinds of amazing things um, that I hope will help people in the health world and the mindset world. And it's all under the brand name of Ruby K. So I kind of will go by both. If you hear people saying Shauna this or Ruby K that, yeah, it's, it's both me. It's like Madonna, right? Or was that her real name? I don't know. Who, who's some like actors and actresses? Pink. It's like Pink. <laughs> I don't think Pink is her real name. <laughs> okay, so a little bit about me. I was diagnosed with multiple autoimmune diseases. Um, just to name a few, I was diagnosed with mixed connective, connective tissue disease, scleroderma, Sjogren's, rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus, um, Raynaud's, endometriosis. The list goes on and on and on. Um, I also was lovely quarantined in a hospital for a week about 13 years ago with something called sweets syndrome. I was quarantined because I was broken out head to toe in these giant quarter sized pustules and it was absolutely disgusting. They didn't know what it was. It actually turns out it's a form of leprosy. You can look it up, Google it. It's um, sweet, S-W-E-E-T, sweet syndrome. But then after you Google it and look at the images, you might want to go like this because it's really gross. So only do that if you're one of those people that likes to look at gross things because it's not pretty. <laughs> so anyway, I was diagnosed with all kinds of multiple issues, uh, multiple um, autoimmune issues. And what happened after that hospitalization in particular is I kept declining and declining and declining and declining. And it was really tough for me because people kept saying, you have about five to 10 years left to live. My doctor said, you have about five to 10 years left to live. The scleroderma is taking over your lungs. You're probably going to go in an oxygen tank and be carrying that around with you while you walk your babies to kindergarten. So good luck, have a nice life and prepare for the worst. There was no hope for me. And it was not a good place to be mentally either. I don't know if you're like me and if this is resonating with you at all. If you've been to multiple doctor's offices and multiple specialists and all of those kind of things and you have heard those same like, hmm, we don't really know what's wrong with you. We don't really know how to help you. And I don't get me wrong again. I love my doctor. I love my doctor. I think there is absolute like like freedom in health and helping people find what they have and figuring it out. But there were so many years where I went through the mystery, you know, what does she have? Does she just need to go to a psychologist or a psychiatrist? Because maybe all this stuff is fake. We don't really know. And it was just overwhelming. Um, and it was very, very hard to continue to move on. So I had multiple autoimmune diseases that may or may not resonate with you, but it also meant that I couldn't work. And if I couldn't work, we were living on a one, one income, which is my husband's, and we were strapped for finances, all the things, and it was really tough. There were some really tough times in our life where we were living off of WIC checks. I don't know if you know what WIC checks are, but that's when you like get free milk at the grocery store. And that was our story when I was this sick because that was all that we could do to manage. Um, now, there is a couple things that I have like been since the age of 18, when I had my first hospitalization, 
they told me um, that it looked like lupus and started to put me on massive amounts of medicine and different drugs and whatnot. And my body did not respond well to the drugs. It just didn't. I blew up like a balloon from all the steroids. I kept getting rashes. I was itchy. I was nauseous. I had a lot of different side effects. And I really made that decision at the age of 18 that this was not how I wanted to feel. I already felt in so much pain and all the things. I didn't need to add to it because of what these medicines were doing to me. I wanted to find natural solutions to at least help me feel better without extra side effects. Um, and so it, it became this journey over the next 25 years of what can I do, what can I do, what, what diets can I choose, what cleanses can I do, what herbs can I try, all the things. And as I started to figure out how to get better, then I realized, oh my gosh, I have to share this with other people. I have to share this with other people because what I found was that there were ways that could work and they could work well. So um, my journey with Young Living, which is a company that I'm going to talk about tonight, is that seven, almost seven years ago, I bought what's called the Premium Starter Kit to get started with some oils, some essential oils, and I'll get into a little bit more of that later. And I have been now with Young Living for almost seven years. It has completely transformed our health and our finances because every year I've been with Young Living and I've used the products, I like to say that I level up in my health. I level up, I level up, I level up. When I was told I was going to go down with all these crazy issues that I had, I have learned how to level up, level up, level up. And I will say I'm now 43 years old and these symptoms started when I was 15 years old. I feel better today than I did as a teenager. I have more energy today than I did as a teenager. I feel amazing in my 40s and I was supposed to, my diagnosis was supposed to go like this and I have completely shot the other direction. So I'm so blessed for this company of Young Living because as I continue to share my story and what has been working for me, Young Living has given me thank you checks and I have also leveled up with the company. So I'm what is considered a platinum level with Young Living currently on my way to diamond level. And I'm really, really very honored and very blessed to represent Young Living and to be able to share that opportunity with others too. If there's anything that you would love to benefit from in the financial world, like I have had the opportunity to do. I have three amazing children, two biological kids and one that is adopted. And yes, they have been my world, my absolute world. Young Living and these products and this mindset has also completely transformed their health as well. We have made so many transitions in our life and it has affected all of us, which is so awesome. And I must say, I really do also have a very super hot husband. And as he is leveling up his health, he is, shoot, he is getting hotter by the week. Can I just tell you, like, whoo, he's looking good. <laughs> so he's really transformed his health as well, and it's really fun to see his progress with all the things. Okay, so I have done some things right. I really have over the last 20 whatever years. I have chosen natural solutions, and I think that has made a huge difference because sister, brother, mother, friend, whatever, I can't even imagine if you have been on medications for years and years and years and eaten poorly for years and years and years and years where you might be starting at today. I can't imagine. And, and I, I'm sorry in a lot of ways for, for where you are if that is your story because there's a lot more. This may take a lot longer for you than it might for other people. But don't have any fear because it still can be done. But I'm very grateful that from a very young age, I did not choose a lot of the synthetic chemicals. I did not choose um, foods that were destructive to my body. I chose healthier things. So I did choose some good things along the way, doing some things right. One of the best things that I have done also is that I remained coachable and I was open to new ideas. If there was somebody that said, maybe this will help you, I said, tell me more. Because I was, for lack of a better term, desperate. I wanted to get better, and I was willing to take a look and try different things. And then the other thing I feel like I've done well is I never gave up hope. I never gave up hope. Even though my diagnosis were what they were, and doctors literally told me, you have five to 10 years left to live, you will not see probably your kids walk across graduation. Um, I did not give up hope. It was so important to me to keep the hope and just keep moving forward with whatever I could with my mind as well. 
but there was some things that I did wrong as well. I didn't do research. Maybe I didn't have time. Maybe I was too tired. I didn't do a lot of research for uh, what, what other things were out there. I think I was scared and I didn't really know where to look. And I also didn't have a support group that was hopeful with me at that time. I mean, I, my mom's always been my biggest cheerleader, but she didn't know where to look either. And I didn't really surround myself with people that had a mindset that these things could get better. I was surrounded by a support group that just said, oh, we're so sorry, we'll pray for you. We'll pray for you, we'll pray for you. And I was like, well, I appreciate the prayers, but like, I need some like, answers. I need some action steps. I need some people who are like going to get better with me. So I didn't have a support group for a very, very long time. And I think because of I, all these things, I wasted a lot of money trying out different things. And I, I didn't know what to do. I wasted a lot of money on different appointments I probably didn't need to have. So I wasted a lot of time and a lot of money. But you know, that's okay. Because after 20 years of really doing a lot of things wrong, I did still find, I discovered that there is a community of people out there that are like me and that wanted to help me and that wanted to encourage me. In fact, I remember once going to a conference, this was oh, well, five years ago now, and this is through with a Royal Crown Diamond with Young Living, her name is Marcella Von Harding, and I went to this conference and I sat there with my jaw like wide open. And I remember calling my mom and I said, oh my gosh, mom, I found my people. I found my people. Like these are people that believe you can get better. You know, like there's this whole world, this whole group, this whole society of people that's like, rah, 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 rah. and I'm like, this is a group that says you can get better. I found my people. So I realized that there is a community of people that, that realize that you can feel better if you choose to. So I also discovered how to save a lot of time and a lot of money. I really like figured that one out awesomely and I'm gonna share some of that with you later. And I figured this is way more simple than it needed, than I thought it was gonna be. I thought this was gonna be such a process and it is a process, but it wasn't like the steps that I took were just so simple. They were like, why isn't everybody doing this? And then I also discovered that I could actually have the energy um, and become strong and vibrant like I am today, I discovered that in my 40s, in my late 30s, and it was awesome. So I'm really excited about that. What I discovered most of all, though, and what I learned is that you really do, you really, really do get to choose how you feel. I do not care what anyone else is telling you. Don't listen to them. Stop listening. <laughs> like, for real, stop listening, because you really get to choose how you feel and I'm excited to share with you a little bit more about that but there is like you know this is what most people do which is the hard way and most people put their health into other people's hands they listen to the other people and they hear all the crazy things and they go I guess that's true you know and they just listen to them as if it's true and it may not always be true they also are afraid to try things that may not work because it might seem scary. Like, why would I try that? That doesn't make sense. I don't know if I want to invest time or money or effort into that. What if it doesn't work? I've tried everything. I mean, raise your hand if you feel like you have tried everything. <laughs> Is that you? You feel like you've tried everything? And so you kind of get afraid. It's like, I've tried everything. I'm exhausted. I don't want to try another thing. And also, a lot of people will say, um, they'll start tomorrow. Oh, this is really great information, Ruby K. Thank you so much. I'm going to start on Monday. When it comes Monday, I'm going to do this. Or when I get paid, then I'm going to do this. Or when the first of the year comes, after the holidays, then I'm going to do this. This is what a lot of people do. And we learned that tomorrow didn't come. It didn't come for you. Because that's why you're here in the same spot, perhaps. And then also, a lot of people look for that quick fix. And let's be honest about this. You didn't get this, whatever you're dealing with, overnight. And likely, it's not going to happen to get fixed overnight. Again, like I said at the beginning, whether this is financial, whether this is relational, whether this is emotional, these things take time to happen. And unless it's financial and you win the lottery <laughs> overnight, most likely, it's not going to get fixed overnight and what they found is even for the people that win the lottery who are in a bad financial state and they win the lottery they go right back to being in a financial state because they blow through all their money so these kinds of issues are not going to happen overnight um that's not a quick fix but most people want the quick fix all right so what if i was able to tell you that there is a way that works that can help you feel your best and it actually works really well would that be interesting to you guys? Raise your hand and say yes. 
give me a me. I think that would be awesome if it could work. Okay, so I hope you have a piece of paper out. If you have a piece of paper, I would love for you to show me that piece of paper. Let's all just show some paper or if it's a notebook or grab, it could be a post-it note, I don't care, it could be anything. And here's what I would like you to do on this first piece of paper is please write down whatever your, I'm gonna call it quote unquote, your pain. Now again, this could be debt, this could be relational, this could be hormonal, this could be um, your brother-in-law. No, I'm just kidding, that's not the pain in your life. <laughs> but that would be relational or maybe it is a health pain that you have, write it down on that paper. So whatever that, pa whatever that pain is, write that down on the paper. Does everybody have that down? Say I, yeah. Right, write it down, just simple. It doesn't have to be like a big outline. It can just say, this is my pain. And then I want you to take that piece of paper and I want you to crumple it up, okay? I want you to take that piece of paper and crumple it up and hold it in your hand like this. And I want you to squeeze onto that paper right now because I want you to feel the pain of holding on to that pain. Hold that in your fist. Hold that in your fist for a minute and just feel what that feels like that you're carrying this with you. You're holding on to this pain. Now on a scale of one to 10 here, rate yourself overall in this area. Where are you at in this area? One to 10, are you like, you know, this really isn't that big of a deal. It's like an eight. I feel pretty good, but I would like to move to a number nine. Or maybe this is like, dude, Ruby K, this is a one. Like, this is awful for me right now. What does that feel like as you hold that pain in your, in your hand on a scale of one to 10? Okay, now, how would it feel if we could raise that bar one notch? How would it feel just to raise it one notch? So use this again for whatever your goal is, your health goal. I am not gonna say that we can cure you overnight, all right? But if I can help you just sleep a little bit better, would that make a difference for you? Would that move the bar one notch? If I could help you get a little bit more energy to play with the grandkids, would that move the bar for you one notch? What would that look like? If I could help show you some ways that you can help some skin things not be the skin things that are, you know, your issue all the time, would that move the bar one notch for you? So what would that feel like to hold it one, uh, hold that and then move it one bar up? Okay, so like I said a second ago, this is a little disclaimer. Any suggestions, recommendations, all the things are just simply that. These are recommendations, these are products that I have used that have worked well for me. Also, these are techniques, these are methods that I have used that have worked well for me. It is totally your choice. Remember, you are in the driver's seat as to what you do with this information. And um, I'm not a doctor, I am not a nurse. I don't want to be a doctor or a nurse. That's <laughs> not my job in life. I'm just a mom and I'm here to share with you what worked for me. So please know that we're not here to cure or diagnose or treat. And whatever this information is that you take with you is totally up to you on how you, how you deal with it. Okay, so let's talk about my top three secrets to feeling better. What in the world did I actually do to feel better, okay? Notice I'm still holding on to my pain right here, okay? Whatever your pain is, I'm still holding on to that in my hand. My top three secrets. Secret number one, I'm gonna go into these in a little bit more detail here in a second, was to give yourself or give myself permission. Secret number two was to listen to my body, listen to your body, and secret number three was to use products that work for your body, not against your body. All right, so let's talk about giving yourself permission. Do you actually feel like you have permission to choose? Do you have permission? This in your hand right here. Do you have a choice in the matter? When I was really, really sick, when I was diagnosed with all these crazy things, I didn't realize I had a choice. I mean, in fact, I had somebody once tell me that I had a choice and you are crazy. I don't have a choice in this. If I had a choice, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be where I am, right? Like if I was choosing this, like first of all, I don't know how to choose all these crazy diseases, but like if I had a choice, like there's no way I would choose this. That's ridiculous. So I was in a mindset at that time that felt like I didn't have a choice. So I'm asking you today, with that pain that you're experiencing, do you feel like you have a choice? This is where we start to look at the mindset difference of are you a victim of this, whatever this is, are you a victim, or is there a way to become a victor in this obstacle, in this situation, in this pain? Can you turn it into a purpose? Can you become the victor instead of 
victim in this. You feel like you have a choice. I know I actually didn't feel like I had a choice. This is just what people told me. It took me a little while to have a mindset in order to take like the responsibility of saying, maybe I do have a choice. Maybe I do. So when we start to feel like we don't have a choice, um, here's something that I like to do with people all the time. I'm going to show you in five seconds how you literally can feel better. You can choose to feel better right now if you choose to. So if you choose to feel better in five seconds, raise your hand. Here's what we're gonna do, are you ready? It's so simple. Just smile. Everybody smile from behind your screen. Literally the physical act of smiling changes the hormones in your body, releases endorphins, and it actually has been scientifically proven to make you feel better. Just the act of smiling, just the act of smiling. So congratulations because you just chose to feel better. You just chose that. Now, if we can choose something really simple like that, really small, really simple, could we perhaps choose to take that to another level? Or could we say, oh my gosh, maybe I can choose a little bit of something. Is it gonna change your whole world? I don't know, but maybe that's one little breadcrumb that I can start on a trail to another little breadcrumb and then to another little breadcrumb and then to another little breadcrumb, okay? Um, so, I'm so proud of you guys for smiling because if you chose to smile, you just chose to feel better. Now, if you chose to not smile because you think I'm super weird and you're sitting there as a grumpy person behind the computer screen and you think that that's like, why would I sit here and smile? Like people are going to look at me strange. And if that was your choice, I just want you to take ownership that that was your choice to not feel better during those five seconds of smiling. That was your choice. And that's totally fine if you chose that. Like if you chose to just be like, you know, on your bed listening to this and like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to smile. Just realize you actually made the choice to not feel better. You just need to own that. You need to own it. But if you did make the choice to feel better, own that too. Own that you actually took that step to feel better. Okay, so what would it feel like to give yourself a chance? What would that feel like to give yourself a chance in feeling better? Okay. So what you're currently doing right now, for whatever position you're in that has caused this paper pain that you wrote down, obviously what you're doing right now has not worked for you yet. And I get that, I understand it, I, I get it. So what do they say? The definition, definition of insanity is trying to do the same thing over and over and get a different result. So we also need to just take the responsibility of saying, what I'm doing isn't working for me because I still have this pain here. I still have it. And so if I'm choosing a different result, if I want to feel better, I actually have to take a different step. I have to try something new. And again, this is where you get to be in the driver's seat. You get to have the choice on whether you move that direction or you stay where you currently are. So what would it feel like to give yourself permission to try something new. You know, it's so interesting to me how often I meet people that just haven't given themselves permission to move forward. Because we go, I don't know how to do it. I don't have any support. I don't have any money. I don't have the resources. What if we just said, you know what? I don't know all of the things, but I give myself permission to release this pain. I give myself permission to release the pain. And maybe it looks like for you that you have to give yourself that permission so that it enables you to be the mom that you know you wanna be. Maybe that means you can be the sister you need to be. Maybe that means to be the employee or the employer or the boss that you need to be. Maybe you know that's for a bigger purpose. In fact, I love the word permission because if you pull that word apart, this is your mission. Where are you lacking and holding on to that pain and you're not allowing yourself to live out your mission? Your pain will become your purpose if you give yourself the permission to live your mission, okay? This is where we have to say, I'm gonna have the courage to give myself permission to take a new step and walk in a new direction. Whew, good stuff. All right, so what would it feel like to go to that next level? Are you ready to go to that next level? The secret truly is all in the mindset. When I started to change my mind, I started to feel better. So the story goes that it was in February of 2012 when I watched this DVD and the 
the DVD was called The Cure Is You. It's no longer available. I've searched for it. I called the company. I tried to get it. It's not available. But this DVD told me I had a choice. And this was the first message of the person I'd ever heard say I had a choice. And they said, The Cure Is You. You have the choice to do something different. And I said, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to change my mindset and say yes to this. I'm going to go ahead and do it. It was all in the mindset. What I found is within that year's time, I got better and better and better and, and better. And within one year, I was virtually pain and symptom free within one year of doing some of the methods that I'm going to tell, talk to you about tonight. And that was huge for me. That was huge for me. And people would say, well, how did you do it? Was it a magic oil? And I said, no. How did you do it? Was, did you do a diet? No. How did you do it? Did you like do an exercise? No. How did you do it? And I'd say, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I changed my mind from being a victim of my pain to a victor of my pain and making it my purpose and giving myself permission. So most people feel they are stuck and that this is just their lot in life. This is how it's gonna be. But you know what? I totally believe, I totally believe you can feel better. I totally believe that. I believe there's more in you. If you are watching this call, I am a huge believer that there is not a, such a thing as like coincidence that there is a message for you to hear tonight from this call. There is a message from the good Lord above who is saying, I have something to tell you. I need you to listen because there is more in you. If you are still walking the face of this earth, there's still more in your mission that that's out there for you. If you choose to take it, I, I totally believe you have the ability, you have the strength to do something better. And I believe that you are listening to this for that reason. And I know that you're ready. Otherwise, you wouldn't have this message in your lap. I also think that I love this saying, when you are ready, the teacher comes. And if you're listening to this, it's because there's a piece of you that's ready to take the next step in your journey. So the second secret that I had that made a big difference to me was I started listening to my body. I started to listen to like, what is it? I felt so overwhelmed. I felt so chaotic. I felt so diseased, diseased. There was no ease in my life. It was very hard. Everything was very hard. Even my organs were actually starting to harden. My, my fingers were starting to harden. Everything was not easy. It was very hard. And I actually started to listen to my body. And one of the best ways that I did that was I learned how to do meditation. And Anne referred to it earlier. I do have, I wasn't going to show it, but I'll, I have a copy. Um, I did write a book about meditation. And you can get that from my website, which I'll tell you about later. But meditation was a key for me in learning how to be still and start to listen to my body. Your body is phenomenal, phenomenal, because it is talking to you. Every little ailment, this pain that you have is talking to you. Be so grateful because it's saying to you, alert, alert, alert. Hey, Ruby K, I need you to pay attention to this area of your life. I want you to get better over here, so I'm going to give you this alert sign so that you can pay attention to what I'm saying. So I really get like super excited. I know this sounds really weird, but I get really excited when there's like kind of a pain or something that happens in my life. I go, Ooh, that's really interesting. What is my body trying to tell me? Like, what do I need to do about this? So your body is talking to you, but first you've got to de-stress. You've got to learn to calm your mind, calm your emotions, calm all the things. And one of my favorite oils for that is called Stress Away, Stress Away Blend. I love it, love it, love it. So I had to put it on there because if you feel like you're in a state of chaos, grab you some Stress Away, put it in your hands and breathe. One of my favorite parts about essential oils is that more than anything else, if you just grab a bottle and you smell it, like I have Valor here, um, if you just smell it, and take a deep breath in, you're giving yourself a really nice breath of fresh air. You're giving yourself a breath. We go throughout the day, can you tell me in the comments how many times today, up until this time, you know you took a really good deep breath? We usually go throughout our day, breathing, 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 it's on autopilot, but we don't often just settle ourselves down and take a really good deep breath. So I love stress away, I love meditation, and so we can listen to our bodies. 
Okay, so part of that is what I do when I start to listen to my body is I, I call this a body scan. And I literally start from the top of my head and go all the way down to the bottom of my feet. And I scan as if there was like a, like a laser like going down. And I scan my body all the way down going, okay, is there anything that feels tight? Are there any alarms happening? Are there any skin things that are coming out? Or is there skin things coming out? That kind of sounds weird, but like a rash or something. <laughs> are there any like red flags that are happening while I scan my body? I mean, for example, is my jaw tight? Are my shoulders tight? I tend to carry a lot of weight in my shoulders. So I do this body scan and I go, oh, hmm, my shoulders are a little tight. Okay, what is my body? Body saying about that? Why is my why are my shoulders tight? What have I been doing all day or all year that is making my shoulders tight? What's going on? So scan my body. So listen to your body. I do have a printout if you if this is interesting to you about doing like a self body scan. I have some instructions on how to do that. So just get in touch with me at the end of the class and I'll I'll send you those instructions. Um, so listen to your body. Okay. Secret number three is that I used products that work for my body, not against my body. You would think that this wouldn't be rocket science here. You would think that this would be like, oh, duh. But like, we can't feed a plant Coca-Cola and expect it to grow. Like the plant needs some water. <laughs> the plant needs some water. We are living, growing creatures human beings and in order to be a being we need to give ourselves things that will support the natural way for our body and that includes food that includes supplements and that includes um, getting rid of harmful toxins so we want to do things that are working for our body so just take a quick look at what your current habits are and this isn't to beat anyone up or to shame anyone this is just like looking at this again is like you are in the driver's seat and the most beautiful part about your face and your mouth is that you get to choose what goes into your mouth. That's your choice, unless you have someone that's caring for you and they might be choosing to feed you something else, but I don't think that's the case for most of our viewers on the call today. I think that you have the actual choice to know what you're putting in your mouth. So again, I love me a good bowl of chocolate and peanut butter ice cream, all right? I have it maybe once every six months. I'm not gonna have it every day. But I think some treats are kind of fun sometimes, but I also am gonna support my body, and so I know that I can get rid of all the yucky stuff that maybe the chocolate ice cream wasn't so good for. Just kind of think about today. What did you eat today? How did you treat your body today? Did you wake up and take a big old chug of water, or did you start off with coffee? You know, what, how'd you start off your day? And just start to take note. Again, this is you are in the driver's seat. You get to be the operator of your choices. And if we're gonna say all of these pains, that there's nothing we can do about them, that we're just the victim to all these things, possibly look at what you're eating and you're drinking and you're doing with your body. Are there maybe choices that could lead you in a little bit different direction to help you feel better? And then maybe, will it make your you know, pain absolutely go away and be cured? I don't know, I don't know, but could it help you feel better? Probably so. So watch those labels, watch your stress levels. What can you do to take a good old deep breath and de-stress once in a while? When I looked and thought about doing this class and I thought, okay, I'm gonna give you guys some of my top products that I use um, every single day, every single day. And these are, I'm gonna give you eight products total. These are eight things that I have chosen to work for my body. And in fact, I'm so like, excited about these products that if they were to go out of stock or something were to happen where I couldn't get them, I think I would cry a lot. I think I would like really panic. <laughs> so the first one is called Cortistop. I don't know if you're familiar with Cortistop, but for, for me, I've had a lot of cortisol imbalances in my lifetime. In fact, I'm a big firm believer that those cortisol imbalances are what makes my body go haywire and gives me all the crazy symptoms and the alerts, the alerts, the alerts, the alerts that are always happening. And so when I learned that there was something that could help me monitor and balance out and support my cortisol levels, I was like, mic drop, boom. <laughs> Cortistop has literally changed a lot for me. 
because I'm a high energy person and with high energy comes high adrenaline and with high adrenaline comes other high like all the things of cortisol and, and if you've known me my whole life you would know I've always been this way go 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 and I need something to help me support those cortisol levels to keep them in to check so I love cortisol um, the Thieves Whitening Toothpaste, I would be really, really, really sad if I didn't have that. I don't know how I would go on with brushing my teeth without it. I will say that in the days when I was not feeling well, I used Sensodyne. My gums were very, very, very sensitive. My gums were very tender. Uh, my teeth, I had a lot of oral um, issues with ulcers and things in my mouth, and it was very, very painful. And um, I don't know about you. I don't know what your story is with oral health or with your your issues. But what I do know for me is that I will never go back to using some of my old products in my mouth because Thieves Whitening Toothpaste is working awesome for me. I'm just going to leave it at that. It's working amazing for me. Okay, the other one is called Life 9. This is a probiotic. I don't know if you're aware of the gut health connection and that the gut is actually also kind of known as your second brain. I would venture to almost say it's your first brain. I mean, if you think about how many things start in the gut, like your emotions, and if you, like, when you start to feel nervous about, you know, presenting something in front of a thousand people, how does that make you feel, oh, like your gut, like, goes, oh my gosh, people have to go to the bathroom, they have to vomit, it lets off all these, like, signals, alert signals, alert signals. Your gut is a really, really, really important part of all the things. And there's a lot of other classes that can go much more into detail with that. But I choose to take Life 9, which is a probiotic that supports my gut every single night before bed. It's really, really imperative. And if I accidentally skip a night because I'm traveling, I forgot to throw it in my bag, I actually feel a difference the next day. I feel a huge difference the next day. So Life 9 probiotic is so important to support the, um, the natural biome of your, your gut. And then the last one that I would really cry without right now is Thieves in this, on this slide, is Thieves Household Cleaner. Um, I had no idea what blue Windex or blue glass cleaner had in it. I didn't know. I didn't know all the things. And what I found was that Thieves Cleaner is free of all the yucky things, and it cleans my glass, windows, counters, bathrooms, floors, carpet, way better than any other product I've ever used in my life. And I'm really weird about windows. I was that person who like tried the newspaper and tried paper towels and tried like different types of cloth to not get streaky windows. Um, with these cleaner, you don't have to do that. <laughs> like, it just really works. So I love these cleaner and I know it's super safe for bare feet. I know it's super safe for my kids. In fact, I have had very several, like many moments where my kids are doing the chores and they start spraying each other with the these cleaner. It becomes like a squirt gun war in my house. And I'm like, you guys, stop. Now, like, clean the floor. But I'm not worried about the Thieves Cleaner, like, touching their skin. I'm not worried about it. Can you imagine that with some of the other products if they started going into a squirt gun war with other products that you might have under your cabinet? Oh, boy. That could be bad. Okay, four of my favorite oils that I love to support me. This is not, like, crazy products, you guys. This is just stuff I use every single day. Stress away, like I mentioned before. Frankincense, um, head to toe, all the things, best sleep ever with frankincense. Lavender is for my skin support. Uh, I have so many great testimonials of lavender, also for calming, for meditation, um, great bath time stuff, but primarily skin is what I use my lavender for. And then peppermint is another gut supportive one for me. I put peppermint oil on my stomach topically every single day. I love it. And then I take a big breath in my hands and I also put peppermint vitality in my coffee every single morning. I like love it, love it, love it. I love the way it makes me feel. I love the way that it supports my digestive system. I would panic without these four products. <laughs> okay, the reason I love these is because they do avoid all these crazy ingredients that we don't want that are gonna work against our body. Our body is not going to recognize these things. There are things like parabens, um, triclosan, phthalates, fragrances, sodium lauryl sulfate. I'm not going to get into what all these things are, but I will say to you that it's not like if you drink water, your body understands water. It understands it. If you drink soda, your body doesn't understand soda. It sees it as a toxin. It's going to store it in your fat cells because it wants to protect your organs. And so if you find yourself gaining weight, you might perhaps see that your body is like, 
oh my gosh, you are exposing me to so many toxins. I got to store it, store it, store it, store it, store it. So your fat cells might be getting bigger and bigger because your body's saying, oh my goodness, I'm trying to protect your organs. Please stop putting all these things into my body. We got to flush all this stuff out. And I know that the products that I just showed you don't have all those crazy things in them. So my body recognizes it and it's not going to store it in my fat cells because it doesn't need to. My body's going to go, oh my gosh, thank you so much for these amazing things to support my system. All right. Um, we want to use products that work for our body, not against, oops, sorry, going back, not against our body. Um, it's not your fault though, you guys. A lot of us are not ever told about these kind of things. We didn't even know that these things, I didn't know. I just knew I had this big pain I was holding on to and that I didn't have a lot of help or hope with how to get better with it. That's what I was told. I was told it was not going to go away. I was told this was my lot in life, that this is what was going to happen to me. So it wasn't my fault either. I didn't feel it was my fault. I wasn't choosing, I didn't think, to be a victim. I didn't want to be a victim in all of this. But when I saw that there were some other choices that could perhaps help me be a victor in getting rid of some of the things I could get rid of, I was really excited. And they were affordable, they were effective, they were safe. They didn't have all the crazy side effects. I wanna tell you about my friend Carrie. Um, Carrie and I met, I don't know, maybe at least a decade ago, probably. And if you, don't, if you haven't met my friend Carrie yet, get to know her. She has such an incredible story. She in fact shared some of her story with a lot of us today. Um, this is a little quote from Carrie. I hit a wall of pain every day at about noon. Carrie was a hairdresser for about 30 plus years. And so she was on her feet doing all the things all the time and it was really, really hard on her system. So every day about noon, she hit a pain that was unbearable. There is hope for you and she is living proof. Carrie discovered, number one, the power of frankincense to support her system and get to know Carrie, get to know her story because she has a phenomenal story to share of how her life has completely transformed with frankincense. This is my friend, Liana. And Liana has been on quite a journey as well. Man, if she was, if, if there's ever anybody that's been holding on to a pain that they want to get rid of, it is my friend Liana. What Liana discovered is the power of cleansing and especially getting rid of parasites. And the, um, the quote I'd like to read to you from her is that cleansing changes more than the inside. The gut-brain gut connection is real. She has completely transformed since she started to look at the breadcrumb path of like, okay, maybe the parasites weren't necessarily my fault in how I got them, but what can I do? How can I discover them? What can I do to cleanse my body from these things that are making me feel the way that I feel? And she started on a path to get better. And I'm so excited to let you know, she is, I mean, doing amazing. Her, oh, I have chills, um, amazing. Get to know Liana, her story is phenomenal in how she has completely transformed when she decided to make that choice to feel better and to figure it out. This is my hot husband. Yes, I put a shirtless top or shirtless picture on because I think he's that hot that you all need to see it. I'm just kidding. That was the only picture I could find. <laughs> um, my husband has also gone through a really cool transformation, especially over the last six months. Uh, he felt like a victim in a lot of ways. There's a lot of things. He just kind of felt like the average Joe dad. And, you know, he would drink beer and watch football games and felt himself feeling more sluggish, more depressed, uh, just kind of not where he wanted to be. He's been an athlete his whole life, and he just wasn't feeling great. He was sad a lot, and he was frustrated a lot, and he felt down on himself a lot. And he decided that he no longer wanted to be the victim of how he was feeling. And he said, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to go along the path that can lead me into feeling better. How can I start to clean up my life? So his quote is, if you are like me, I had no clue that I was surrounded by these attackers lurking in the products I was using every day until I learned from another man, a manly man, who, get, who had gone through many battles with his health in his life. That man that he's referring to is actually the founder of our company, Gary Young. He got to spend a week with him on the ranch and learned a, an amazing amount of information from him. Was very inspired to improve his health because of it. And then I'm gonna tell you about my friend, Christina. Um, Christina and I got to know each other. We've never met in person, but we got to know each other through a mutual friend who was a mutual friend of somebody else actually. And Christina heard my story on how I changed my mind and how I started to make decisions to go in a path that was different than what everybody else was telling me. 
I love Christina's story now. It's been such a fun journey. We have been friends for a, a few years, and I'll read what she had said. Ruby Kay's testimony about being thankful for just one thing and about shifting one's mindset really resonated with me. I went from despair and hopelessness to believing that I could live again. I have been in remission since about June 2018, and Christina's story um, has a lot of issues uh, you know, all kinds of issues too that she has really, really learned how to go through some physical therapy and change some lifestyle things to improve her health drastically. So proud of you, Christina. I'm so grateful for your story and I get inspired by you all the time. So let's talk about like one of the things that a lot of people say is I don't have the time or the money to do these in my life. If I had the time and the money, I would make the different choices. How can I afford all these things? We really, again, we are the CEOs of our health and we are in the driver's seat of our money. We get to choose what we invest in every single day. When I asked you that question at the beginning or a few slides ago about how did you wake up this morning? What was the first thing you put in your mouth? Was it coffee or was it water? Well, that coffee costs a little bit of money. I'm not saying you can't have any coffee. I love me a good cup of coffee, but we can't continue to say, I don't have any money, I don't have any money, I don't have it. Well, you're choosing to buy coffee instead of this, or you're choosing to buy Doritos instead of this, or you're choosing to you know, eat fast food instead of make something at home. We're spending money on different things. So we all have choices in how we spend our money, whether we have a lot of money or we have a little money. And truly, you are your greatest asset. Investing in you is the best investment you could ever, ever take. All right, but let's face it. Old habits die hard. This is where the mindset part really starts to come into play because we really get fired up about things. We're like, yes, that was a great call. I got this great information. This girl told me that I could get better. And then tomorrow comes and you wake up and you go into your same old habits and your same old routine. So what are we going to do about it? Because old habits die hard. And until you truly invest in yourself, you probably will just stay where you are or what would even be worse is slide backwards. And let's also face that information alone is not going to be enough. You can hear all the things. You can read all the things. You can get all the information from all the people. But if there is a lack of the action steps, if there's a lack of an investment in yourself, if there's a lack, and that investment could be daily discipline, daily routines, daily habits, that same old pain is going to sit there and sit there and sit there year after year. So would you agree that taking action is a vital part of the process? I mean, you can hear all the things, do all, say, read all the things, but if you don't do them, it's not going to get you anywhere. So can you imagine what it feels like to actually take the action and move forward in the direction that you actually been wanting to go? So Young Living Wise is a different company. We, um, I'm not going to get into this too much. We have a seed to seal guarantee that what you, what we put in the ground from day one. In fact, even the ground itself is highly taken care of to make sure there aren't synthetic chemicals and all the things put in there. And we guarantee that all the way till you get the bottle of whatever it is, that's if it's a supplement, a thieves cleaner, an oil into your hand, we have a seed to seal guarantee. And so that really speaks highly about our farms and uh, also not wasting our money with, a, with lots of third parties in between. We want to deliver the quality straight to you. So we don't add any artificial things and we, again, make sure that there is goodness in every drop. Also, um, remember how I said that I didn't have a community and then I found my people? Well, I'm so excited to let you know, you have found your people. This is a community that is not going anywhere. We have a mindset as a community that we can get better and we encourage you to do the same. So we have a private Facebook group that we can add you in if you're not in there already, because we wanna support you in, the, in this learning journey. We have lots of other educational uh, resources and classes to go along with this. So if you are someone who needs more and more information on all the things, Absolutely, we have a lot of that available for you as well. Um, there are people that are absolutely willing to do a personal consultation with you, myself included, or whoever invited you to this call. We want to be one-on-one -on -one with you. We want to help you work through how what your next step is. That is a real desire for us. And um, again, we do have a team also. So if I'm not available, if the person who invited you is not available, let us know because there are people that are available for you. We have an amazing, amazing team. 
So most people get started in the product department with what we call the premium starter kit. I'm just gonna run through this really fast with you, but I want you to remember from the very beginning of this call, I told you I was going to pitch you some products at the end of this class. I told you I was gonna tell you about them, and I wanted you to think about what your mindset is when I'm pitching you these products. How is it making you feel? Remember, I still have this pain crushed in my hand because I have not yet made any decisions to let go of that. So this is part of that, like, where are you at with these products? You might already have these, so you might be thinking, oh, I don't need all those. I've already got all that stuff. I'm good to go. That might be fine. So think about it with the next step for you. But if you don't have these things, let me just run down how most people get started in uh, supporting their system from the inside out. Um, they start with the premium starter kit, which comes with lots of different oils. One is called Stress Away, Peace and Calming, Lavender, Valor, and you'll also get a diffuser. These are really great oils for that stress and those emotions that play into the mindset. Oh my goodness, the mindset with the stress and the emotions, it gets all out of whack and it gets all chaotic. These are some oils that will support you in that department. You're also gonna get some immune supporting products in there. You're gonna get some Ningxia Red Singles, which is an antioxidant drink. That's that little red pouch on there. And you just drink it like a juice. You can do one or two ounces a day for some really supportive antioxidants. You're gonna get um, the Thieves Blend, which is super, super, super important for immune support. In fact, if there's only one thing you're ever gonna buy, get a Thieves Oil. <laughs> get a Thieves Oil, you're gonna need it. Um, it's just so good for the immune system. It works, it just works. Uh, you're also gonna get Digize, which is a digestive support oil blend. And again, I said that the, the gut health is so super important and Digize is really, really great for that. And as well as the lemon oil. You're also gonna get energy support, which some of the, my favorites in there for energy are the peppermint, which is why I use it every single day as well. Raven, which is a blend of eucalyptus, and then citrus fresh, which has some uh, citrus oils in it, which are very good for boosting the mood and supporting energy. You're also gonna get full body support. Remember I said frankincense is awesome head to toe, all the way head to toe. All the things, best sleep oil, it's really, really good. Trust me on that. When you're gonna get frankincense in this kit, if you were to buy it on its own, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny, but it's a lot cheaper to get it in this kit. You're gonna get pan away. So if you are dealing with physical pain uh, from like working out, that kind of thing, if you slip kind of funny and you've got a little bit of a tight neck, that pan away oil is going to be your best friend. It was actually my aha oil when I was like, oh my gosh, these things actually work. They don't just smell good, they actually work. Pan away was my aha oil. You're gonna get some Thieves hand purifier sachets. I mean, who doesn't want some hand sanitizer right now, right? Some hand purifier, everybody needs that to throw in their purse. And you're gonna get a Thieves spray. Um, so let's just recap, you're gonna get stress and emotional support, immune support, energy support, full body support. At retail value, this will cost you over $400, over $400. But, what would it look like? How much would you be willing to pay to move that number, to take that pain that's in your hand still and to move it one bar to start to release it? What would you be willing to pay for that? I mean, think about what you're spending money on now. I know that when we go out to dinner as a family and even if we go to like Chipotle, right? It costs us almost $100 in food because we have a family of five and they really like to eat. I have athletes and they love to eat and it costs us nearly $100 in food. Guess what that food does in like a couple of hours? It gets flushed down my toilet. <laughs> it gets flushed down my toilet and I'm like, oh, that was, that was $100. <laughs> and so what would it look like to take that same $100 and invest it into something that would last you a long time? In fact, it might last you even a lifetime if you're improving your health over the lifetime. So what is it worth to you? $500? $1,000, maybe it's priceless. If you could actually fully release this even, what would you give? How much would you pay to let go of that? There are tons of people feeling better. I gave you four examples of some friends today that are feeling better from this, but I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of testimonials that I could share with you. In fact, um, we have events going all the time for that reason to share with stories of how people are actually doing that. So just think about what are you already paying for? What are you paying for in food? What are you paying for in appointments? What are you paying for already that you could shift over into supporting your health? You can see why this is an amazing deal to get all these things for only $400. I mean, how fast, if you didn't go out to eat, like my family, if you go out to eat once a week, there's your $400 right there. 
And that's all. That's all I'm asking is to give up once a week out to eat with the family and eat at home instead with some better food. There's your $400, $400 to get all the things. But because we have an amazing company, we want to help you get started for way less than that. So if you start with it as a kit and a wholesale member, it's only $165. And there are no strings attached. I promise you that. There are no strings attached. You don't ever have to order another thing if you don't want to. You are in the driver's seat. Remember at the beginning, I told you you won't be locked into anything because you make the choices here. This is all about your choices. You can stop ordering after this one kit if that's all you ever want to do. Your choice. Totally your choice. I did tell you at the beginning that I had a free gift to you because if you're still feeling stuck about how to make better choices, if you're still feeling stuck about how to truly release this pain, but you're feeling like, I don't think I can do this. It's not for me. You have an incredible story, Ruby K, but that's, that's what you got to do. Mine is too much. Mine is too big. Mine is too hard. Mine is too deep. Mine is too wide. This isn't something I can just get unstuck from that easy. My gift to you is I have put together a five-step guide <laughs> excuse me that will help you go into this further to release some of these mindsets and help you find some answers to following those breadcrumbs once and for all because it's important to me that I don't care if you buy the premium starter kit I don't like you know it, that might not be the right thing for you maybe you need the quarter stop maybe you need to look at some other supplements vitamin b vitamin d vitamin c all those things maybe those are the right answers for you but if you still feel stuck in your excuses and your reasons for why this isn't going to work for you, I have a free guide to give you and I want you to um, grab onto that. So we'll put the link, I'll put the link in the event so that you can make sure you get that um, to help you get unstuck. It's important to me that you don't stay stuck. Otherwise, I wouldn't be spending all this time with you. I also have another thing I just created because I was realizing that sometimes, you know, just doing like printing out a guide isn't always enough. And sometimes people need a little bit more support and they need a daily accountability, a daily routine that's going to help them walk through each day with a little bit of inspiration and some accountability. In fact, I will even go to the point of, I will text you every single day to remind you to do it. And so I just launched this little mini course. It's a video series that's um, available in an app on your phone. It's like 10 minute video every single day for 10 days, you'll get it delivered to your email. I'm launching it. Um, I have not fully launched it yet, so it's in the beta phase because I'm making sure all the buttons and all the things click. And because you sat here with me, I want to give you this for only $7. So the, the website is down below because normally this is going to be a program that is going to go be a big part of what I do. But I just want to give you guys some taste testers and see how it works for you and do this daily accountability because that is the support that I was talking about. We are the team that we were talking about. We are that community. We are your people that say, I know you can get better and I want to be your daily cheerleader to help you do that. So it's called Focus on Your Nose and it will explain itself within the course as to why it's called Focus on Your Nose. But those four words were magical for me in my health journey and I'm going to share that with you in that course and so you can also get a hold of that. Like I said, we have the premium starter kit for just $165. You want to start with that. Talk to the person who sent you to this. If you don't know who that was, please put in the comments that you were invited by Facebook or you were invited by an email or you're not really sure. And some of the team who's on this call will take note of your name and we'll make sure that you get followed up with or put a comment in the event page or wherever, email back, whatever, um, so that we can make sure that you get taken care of for that as well. So you have two choices here, my friend. This is what we call the mindset of health, okay? Your choice is to continue to hold on to that pain. Do you guys still have, I've been holding this, I don't know if you saw, but I've been holding this in my hand the entire time because there's still a pain until I make the decision to move forward and to take action, there is still the pain there. And you are not allowed to release this pain until you make the choice and the choice is 100% yours. You can smile at me from behind the screen and feel better in five seconds. You can purchase a premium starter kit and get your hands on some of those oils that have phenomenally upgraded my health. You can grab on to one of those free things that I told you about a second ago, or you can actually hold on to that pain and just stay where you are. You can stay there. It's your choice. You are in the driver's seat. My hope, my prayer is that you make one choice today to actually finally release that pain. If you are committing right now to doing something, one thing 
at least one thing to release that pain once and for all. Congratulations on getting out of the victim mindset and taking ownership in your health moving forward. And you have successfully completed being in a mindset of health instead of a mindset of sickness, a mindset of poverty, a mindset of victimhood. You are now choosing to release it and move forward. So let us know in the comments if you are committing something in your life to take a mindset of health and to take captive your thoughts and realize you have a choice in this matter. You are in the driver's seat. You are in the driver's seat. You can feel better even by smiling. That's as simple as that. Okay, so what is your choice? That is the real question. What are you choosing today? I am so appreciative of you guys sitting through here with me today and learning all the things. I pray that this has inspired you to take an action to follow the breadcrumbs and forward yourself in health and wellness. We do have some $20 gift credits to give away. And so I'm supposed to ask some questions so that we can come up with some winners. So I would like Ange to help me with some questions and some winners because as we wrap this up, I want to again thank you guys so much for being on here and we'll do some prize giveaways and we'll put the links of all the things in the comments and in the Facebook event. But thank you for being here. I love you guys. I so appreciate you taking your time out. Feel free to share this with your friends. If there was a message here that resonated with you today and you know it can help someone else, this will be available to you to share with them. No charge, no charge. So thank you for all the things, you guys. And thank you, what do we got? Ruby. That was so great, guys. Give her a shout out in the comments. It's so awesome to um, hear from uh, such a wise woman who has been through it, you guys. And and her testimonial was was about overcoming. I just I took a ton of notes, Shauna, and Vic, just choosing Victor over victim um, is one of the things that stays with me the most. And the fact that health doesn't have to be an expense, health is an investment, truly, in your, in, your, in, in your future. Because if you can't go out and accomplish those things, you're not going to make it happen. So thank you, and for the testimonials from so many of the others um, in our community who have um, made this decision as well to just look at things a little bit differently and with, a, with just sort of an open mind about what this can bring. So Shauna, thank you for that. And, and I do wanna ask a question, we've been writing some people's names down secretively. So we have a couple of winners selected already, but I do, uh, only because you guys have been chatting it up and we wanted to award you uh, product credit just for being really involved in tonight's class. We really thank you for that. Um, I think to, to wrap things up though, what's your biggest takeaway uh, would be a question that I would have. And then um, I've got one more after that. What's your biggest takeaway that you learned tonight? I shared a couple of mine, but what is it that you are, uh, if you've distilled this down to the one main idea uh, that you, that, that you're taking, is it your, is it your scale? It's, is it releasing your pain? What is it that you're taking from this tonight? Yay. You have a choice to feel better. Make a decision. Awesome. Frankincense for sleep. Yes, I heard that as well. Take control of your health more and release your pain. Change your mindset. Awesome. Thanks for, thanks for commenting in. Yes. Focus on moving one step forward. Be in charge of your own health. Take control of your finances. Excellent. 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 Yeah, look at that. Another one. Frankincense for sleep. Awesome definitely helps get unstuck. Listen to your body. And, and Ruby's given us tons of resources just by going to rubyk.com and getting um, plugged into some of those mini sessions. That's been fantastic as well um, because uh, that reminder, that daily reminder or that those, those pieces of accountability are huge when you start taking action on what those goals are. I choose to live without pain. I am making a choice. Get in remission from the stress. I love that. Kelly came in um, having only eaten breakfast today, I saw in the comments today. Uh, so we are super, uh, super grateful that you're breathing. There were some um, reminders to just breathe and support each other. And we remind you that in that private Facebook group, there's always a community forum. Um, like Shauna said, there's a ton of people around you, whether it's the person who invited you tonight or somebody from this incredible expanding community that's going to help you. Um, all right. So uh, a couple of winners so far. Um, Deborah, is, uh, Deborah and I are working in tandem on this. 
Uh, Christina Garrett, I'm never gonna say your name. Ruby, help me with Christina's last name. I think it's Gartzeloff. Am I saying that right, Christina? That she right. actually Gartzeloff. just commented. Christina, thank you so much for being part of this and testimonial, as well as in your comments and encouraging other people with your story tonight. Congratulations. Um, also, um, it's awesome to see uh, Capri Luna leading out as well. So congratulations to you. You're another one of our winners. Um, the next question, and then I'll announce the last two winners. The next question is all about um, uh, who, who needs to hear this information? Just You don't have to tell us a first name and last name or what their story is, but put down the first name or an initial of somebody that you want to send this recording to tonight that needs to hear this, that you are feeling called to speak into their life in the same way that Ruby Kay spoke into our lives tonight. Who's feeling, who, who in your life is, is uh, especially affected or um, could really benefit from learning this information tonight? Awesome. Thanks for, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Aunts, sisters, Melissa, Stephanie, Kim, Carol. This is also kind of a prayer list, you guys. As I see those names pop up, this, um, you know, we are, we are extremely aware that there's only so much that we can do as humans that sometimes a, a healer is, is necessary. And so awesome. There are people that couldn't make it live, but there are people we're going to send it to, cousins, uh, family members, friends, for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, we wanna give away two more $20 products, product credits. Ruby K, would, uh, we're gonna give away a third product credit to Janai, and our fourth product credit is gonna go to McKenna Sampson. Congratulations to McKenna Sampson. So make sure you get us your member numbers so that we can get that information to you. If you're not a member yet, we wanna help you with that low startup kit, uh, cost on that kit and just contribute $20 um, to that. So please be in touch with us. Um, Deborah Lehman, Angela Lehman, I'll put a link if you're in our lifestyle group uh, for you to fill out so that we can make sure we record that tonight and get your product credit awarded to you yet this week. Ruby K, again, thanks for your perseverance and your patience. We've determined it's a bigger issue even than us. So that makes me feel better and worse all at the same time, but uh, by tomorrow night, we'll be up and rolling again. But Ruby, th thank you again so much, and congratulations to everyone who was on the call tonight. You are all just one step away from a better life, so thank you so, so very much. We are all, and I mean you, we. This is a journey we all take together, arm in arm. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everyone.